Hi sewing friends, welcome to my sewing room. My name is Beth and if you're new, welcome. It's nice to be sewing with you today. I have a quilt here. I did not make the quilt. It's for philanthropy for my quilting guild. They have little kits of quilts that people have made. They add the batting and the backing and I picked up a package. I brought it home and I'm going to try for the first time quilting on a little featherweight. I have not tried this before. So let's see how it goes. Let's get started. First thing I had to do to quilt my little quilt was to get all three layers together. This quilt has a beautiful backing fabric here that I really love. I added the batting and then I smoothed the quilt top on the top and I used 505 spray to attach both the front and the back to the batting. I'm going to be marking my quilt with a clover chalk marker. It has a little roller on the end. I'm going to use my ruler with the 45 degree angle line. I'll put that line on the edge of my quilt so that the lines going through my quilt are 45 degrees diagonally through my quilt. And this roller is really nice, especially for darker fabrics using this white chalk. I just simply kind of drew a line right through starting in the middle of my quilt. After getting the first line through the middle, I used my ruler and I measured three inches from each of the lines just moving out. My lines are three inches apart. This is a really cute pattern for a quilt. I am not sure what the pattern is. It looks sort of like a disappearing type quilt block. I'm not sure which one it is. Like I said, I did not make the quilt top. So I'm using two different colors of thread, a dark blue for the top and a lighter blue for my bobbin because I think those are the threads that kind of match. And then I rolled up the right side of my quilt so that it would fit in the uh, throat of my sewing machine. I hope it'll fit pretty good there. And I'll be starting in the middle. 
I put the largest stitch available on my little featherweight. I chose the largest stitch and I started sewing right through the middle of my quilt. Using the large stitch on my featherweight and just sewing straight ahead. I don't have any special feet or anything. It just worked out just fine. It is a smaller quilt. It's about 45 inches square. And if it was a larger quilt, I might have trouble going through the um, throat area of my sewing machine, but this quilt gave me no trouble at all. When I was done quilting all of the lines in my quilt, I took it over to my cutting area and I trimmed away the excess batting and backing using my quilt top as my guide. After getting my quilt trimmed I took the binding that also came in this bag I didn't even need to choose the binding and I pressed it in half long ways and I started sewing it to the back of my quilt about 8 to 10 inches uh, from the end When I got to the corner, I stopped about a quarter inch away from the corner from the end. I pivoted my quilt and I sewed off of that corner so I have a little angled stitch there on my the corner of my quilt. See if you can see it. There you can see it just a little bit better. Then I folded my binding straight up after turning my quilt and getting ready for my next side, I folded it straight up and then straight down and there's a fold right along the edge there and I'll start sewing right at the top. I'll sew over that fold 
and I'll do the same thing all the way around my quilt. When I got all the way around, I stopped about 10 inches away from where I started. And now I will join my binding strips. I'll cut one strip sort of in the middle of that open area. And I will fold the other strip right next to where I cut that. So the folded one is on the left. And I will use that piece that I cut off as my measurement, as my guide. It should be two and a half inches. As starting from the fold, I'll measure two and a half inches and I will cut off the excess. I'll put right sides together at a right angle and I will sew them together with a diagonal stitch from corner to corner. I'll make sure that they um, fit on my quilt here and then I'll trim that triangle off and so finish sewing this binding on. I top stitched the binding down onto the front of my quilt and that was all there was to it. This was a really fun little quilt to finish for my quilting guild and they will give it away to a child either at the children's hospital. I know that they have some different organizations that they give to. So I was really happy to finish this beautiful quilt for someone else who wasn't maybe confident enough to quilt it or didn't have the time and I got to share it with you today. Thanks for joining me today, and I'll see you next time.